please subscribe, like and share this content. It means a lot to us. Thank you in advance. Cornell Law School. UCC, Article 9, Secured Transactions. Part 2, Effectiveness of Security Agreement, Attachment of Security Interest, Rights of Parties to Security Agreement. Sub Part 1, Effectiveness and Attachment. Paragraph 9201. General Effectiveness of Security Agreement. A. General Effectiveness. Except as otherwise provided in the Uniform Commercial Code, a security agreement is effective according to its terms between the parties, against purchasers of the collateral, and against creditors. B. Applicable Consumer Laws and Other Law. A transaction subject to this article is subject to any applicable rule of law which establishes a different rule for consumers and insert reference to I any other statute or regulation that regulates the rates, charges, agreements, and practices for loans, credit sales, or other extensions of credit and to any consumer protection statute or regulation. C other applicable law controls. In case of conflict between this article and a rule of law, statute, or regulation described in subsection B, the rule of law, statute, or regulation controls failure to comply with a statute or regulation described in subsection B has only the effect the statute or regulation specifies. D. Further deference to other applicable law. This article does not 1. Validate any rate, charge, agreement, or practice that violates a rule of law, statute, or regulation described in subsection B, or 2. Extend the application of the rule of law, statute, or regulation to a transaction not otherwise subject to it. Paragraph 9202. Title to Collateral Immaterial. Except as otherwise provided with respect to consignments or sales of accounts, chattel paper, payment intangibles, or promissory notes. The provisions of this article with regard to rights and obligations apply whether title to collateral is in the secured party or the debtor. Paragraph 9203. Attachment and enforceability of security interest, proceeds, supporting obligations, formal requisites. A. Attachment. A security interest attaches to collateral when it becomes enforceable against the debtor with respect to the collateral, unless an agreement expressly postpones the time of attachment. B. Enforceability. Except as otherwise provided in subsections C through I, a security interest is enforceable against the debtor and third parties with respect to the collateral only if 1. Value has been given. 2. The debtor has rights in the collateral or the power to transfer rights in the collateral to a secured party, and 3. One of the following conditions is met. A. The debtor has authenticated a security agreement that provides a description of the collateral and, if the security interest covers timber to be cut, a description of the land concern. B. The collateral is not a certificated security and is in the possession of the secured party under Section 9313 pursuant to the debtor security agreement. C. The collateral is a certificated security in registered form and the security certificate has been delivered to the secured party under Section 8301 pursuant to the debtor security agreement. Or D. The collateral is deposit accounts, electronic chattel paper, investment property, or letter of credit rights, and the secured party has control under Section 9104, 9105, 9106, or 9107 pursuant to the debtor security agreement. C. Other UCC provisions. Subsection B is subject to Section 4210 on the security interest of a collecting bank, Section 5118 on the security interest of a letter of credit issuer or nominated person, Section 9110 on a security interest arising under Article 2 or 2A, and Section 9206 on security interests in investment property. D. When person becomes bound by another person's security agreement. A person becomes bound as debtor by a security agreement entered into by another person if, by operation of law other than this article or by contract, 
1. The security agreement becomes effective to create a security interest in the person's property, or 2. The person becomes generally obligated for the obligations of the other person, including the obligation secured under the security agreement, and acquires or succeeds to all or substantially all of the assets of the other person. E. Effect of new debtor becoming bound. If a new debtor becomes bound as debtor by a security agreement entered into by another person, 1. The agreement satisfies subsection B. 3. With respect to existing or after acquired property if the new debtor to the extent the property is described in the agreement, and 2. Another agreement is not necessary to make a security interest in the property enforceable. F. Proceeds and supporting obligations. The attachment of a security interest in collateral gives the secured party the rights to proceeds provided by section 9315 and is also attachment of a security interest in a supporting obligation for the collateral. G. Lien securing right to payment. The attachment of a security interest in a right to payment or performance secured by a security interest or other lien on personal or real property is also attachment of a security interest in the security interest, mortgage, or other lien. H. Security entitlement carried in securities account. The attachment of a security interest in a securities account is also attachment of a security interest in the security entitlements carried in the securities account. I. Commodity contracts carried in commodity account. The attachment of a security interest in the commodity account is also attachment of a security interest in the commodity contracts carried in the commodity account. Paragraph 9204. After acquired property, future advances. A. After acquired collateral. Except as otherwise provided in subsection, B. A security agreement may create or provide for a security interest in after acquired collateral. B. When after acquired property clause not effective. A security interest is not attached under a term constituting an after acquired property clause to 1. Consumer goods, other than an accession when given as additional security unless the debtor acquires rights in them within 10 days after the secured party gives value, or, to a commercial tort claim. c. Future advances and other value. A security agreement may provide that collateral secures, or that accounts, chattel paper, payment intangibles, or promissory notes are sold in connection with, future advances or other value, whether or not the advances or value are given pursuant to commitment, Paragraph 9205. Use or disposition of collateral permissible. A. When security interest not invalid or fraudulent. A security interest is not invalid or fraudulent against creditors solely because 1. The debtor has the right or ability to A. Use, commingle, or dispose of all or part of the collateral, including returned or repossessed goods. B. Collect, compromise, enforce, or otherwise deal with collateral, c. Accept the return of collateral or make repossessions, or d. Use, commingle, or dispose of proceeds, or 2. The secured party fails to require the debtor to account for proceeds or replace collateral. b. Requirements of possession not relaxed. This section does not relax the requirements of possession of attachment, perfection, or enforcement of a security interest depends upon possession of the collateral by the secured party. Paragraph 9206. Security interest arising in purchase or delivery of financial asset. A. Security interest when person buys through securities intermediary. A security interest in favor of a securities intermediary attaches to a person's security entitlement if 1. The person buys a financial asset through the securities intermediary in a transaction in which the person is obligated to pay the purchase price to the securities intermediary at the time of the purchase, and 2. The securities intermediary credits the financial asset to the buyer's securities account before the buyer pays the securities intermediary. b. Security interest secures obligation to pay for financial asset. The security interest described in subsection A secures the person's obligation to pay for the financial asset. C. Security interest in payment against delivery transaction.
A security interest in favor of a person that delivers a certificated security or other financial asset represented by a writing attaches to the security or other financial asset if 1. The security or other financial asset a. In the ordinary course of business is transferred by delivery with any necessary endorsement or assignment, and b. Is delivered under an agreement between persons in the business of dealing with such securities or financial assets, and 2. The agreement calls for delivery against payment. d. Security interest secures obligation to pay for delivery. The security interest described in subsection c. Secures the obligation to make payment for the delivery.